There's a switch on the wall. Press it. What the? It's the Amal Amalgamate. Let's check. It's unclear how many dogs this counts as. Uh, let's try play. This is creepy pasta level right now. Uh, let's try pet. It's too far away to pet. You just pet the air. Okay, uh, let's beckon. It bounds towards you. Flecking a strange liquid from its or from an orifice. Now let's pet. Pet the all um I'm a whatever it is. It convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. This is really creepy. Let's try play. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The um amalgamate brings it back to you proudly. You repeat this process a few times. Now, Amalgamate is very tired. It leans its dripping orifice body on you. Uh, shit. Damn it again! Uh, and I didn't save, did I? You're going to be alright, Joe. Stay determined. Wait, why am I here? Uh, okay. I have it figured out now. I was not expecting any of this shit. Let's try... Beckon. Now let's try ignore. Let's try playing again. Let's try petting. Let's start to generate a stage I stage one happiness froth. Mm. 
Come on! Let's try... Pet decisively. The amalgamate seems to be satisfied by all this. Phew! That was getting really spooky. Now let's save again. Amalgamate? Check. It seems like it's losing itself. Snowy. Uh, let's... Joke! You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Haha, <laughs> I remember. Told a bad pun about snow. Her expression changes more. Haha, <laughs> thank you. Joke. You told a bad pun about snow. She's completely calmed down. Okay, that was easy. Hey, the blue key! Uh, we gotta. It's refrigerator, it's empty. But, it's shaking. Okay, weird. Yay! Okay, so I think I figured out what's going on somewhat. Alphys tried something with monsters, but it started failing, I guess? I'm not a thousand percent sure. I know where the blue key goes. That's the red key. Where's the blue key go? Okay, let's try to figure this out. Nine. All right, let's go all the way back and start the story over. All. I will unleash the power of the soul. Of the soul. Entry number two. 
area is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides, being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the, unlike the persistent soul of humans, the soul of monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it away. Number three. Five. Soul strength. Call it determination. Save here. Entry number twelve. We're missing entries. Uh, okay, let's just... I'm sure I can piece this uh, around together later. Like, in editing or something. Or maybe somebody else has... Pieced this... Stuff together. Okay, maybe here's where we gotta... Yep, this is it! Another look at that machine. Yep, it's still not on. And it looks creepy as hell, too. Okay, either I'm letting this get to me or I saw the screen shake. Let's just get to that door and get out of here. down here. Seems to be turned off. It seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on? Yes. I just noticed it has a face on it. Uh, help? Hey, stop! I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. Um, anyway, the power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. But, but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something. Cowardly. Uh, I... I suppose I owe you, I owe you an explanation. Yes, please, piece together this odd story. As you, as you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I'd called Determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would at least would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of Determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physical physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into... those. Seeing them like this, I knew. I couldn't tell their families about it. 
I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I've done so far had such a horrific failure. Had been such a horrific failure. But now? Now, I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. Being honest, believing in myself, I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. But I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it will be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Yeah, I see the face on this thing. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgord yet, but I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. Oh! It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder. What happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? And entry number 18. The flower's gone. It's flowy. Ring. It's a voice you have never heard before. Joe, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Joe, see you soon. What? What the? The door is jammed shut with vines. Uh, okay. Oh, the save thing is gone! What? Can I take the elevator? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take the long way. Because I don't trust elevators anymore. <laughs> What in the world is going on here? Whew. So we know that Flowey has determination. It's so quiet here. No pleasant music like last time? Golden flower. Yeesh. Let's look around a little, because this is unsettling. Under renovations. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's anything important here. Nothing seems different or out of place. Except for the obvious golden flowers. I'm honestly nervous right now, because I don't know what to expect. Be nice to see what this place would look like with some color in it. That would look awesome. Is it me or does this place seem longer? We cannot save at all. <sighs> we cannot save anywhere. Hey, finally some sound. All right. Hey, we can save. The end. All right, let's do this, folks. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. 
if, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Well, we can't go back, even if we wanted to. I see. This is it, then. Ready? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You are filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. What? What? Toriel? What a miserable creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. What? Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous, and ultimately, it would burden you uh, with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized, I cannot allow that. It's not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I have been trying to prevent this whole time? So for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. Your pathetic whelp. Oh, if you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul, taken six souls from the human, then came back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair because you would rather wait here Meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori. You're right. I am a miserable creature. But do you think we can at least be friends again? No, Asgore. Wow! Mean! Asgore, human, nobody fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends, or else I'll... I'll... Nice to meet you too. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Hey, nobody hurt each other. Oh, are you another friend? I'm Toriel, hello. Uh, <laughs> hi! There's two of them? Hey, nobody fight anyone. If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help. Hello. Oh, hello. Your Majesty. Oops. Hey, human. Did Asgore shave and clone himself? Hey, guys. What's up? That voice. Hello. I think we may know each other. Oh, hey. I recognize your voice, too. I am Toriel. Nice to meet you. The same. The name's Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, wait, then. This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowie! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am. This is the best day of my life. Hey, Papyrus, what does a skeleton tile his food with? Hmm. Snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with shingles. I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> Come on, Asgore, it's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, Asgore, Undyne's totally right about the fish thing. Sometimes you just gotta, uh, stop going after furry boss monsters and... You should just get to know a really cute fish. That sounds really weird. It's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god. Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romance action. <laughs> Metaton's got a point. The nerve of that guy. Right, Alphys? 
Uh, Alphys? Yeah, just smooch already. For the human. What? Come on, I want to see this. They need to do it. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I got a little carried away there. <laughs> My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you have made, I think, I think you will be happy here. And hey, that reminds me, Virus. You called everyone here, right? Well, besides uh her. Uh, anyway, if I got here before you. How did you know to call how to call everybody? Let's just say a tiny flower helped me. Oh fuck. A tiny flower? You bastard. You idiots. While you guys were having your little powwow. I took the human souls, and now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friend's souls are gonna be mine, too. <laughs> and you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the human souls, I will achieve my real form. <laughs> huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you will win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But then this game is... Sorry. But this game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you just within your reach, and then tear it away just before you grasp it. Over and over and over. <laughs> Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But it, it, that won't happen. You... I'll keep you here no matter what. Even if it means killing you a million times. Wait, there's one person that doesn't look like he has. Or does it? Wait, what? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. Oh shit, they're helping me out! That's right, human! You can win! Just do what I would do. Believe in you! Hey, human, if you get past me, you can get past anything. Don't, so don't worry. We're with you all the way. Oh, you haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on, this weirdo's got nothing on you. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him, but somehow, I know you can do it. Human, for the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. Holy shit! Uh, no! Unbelievable! This can't be happening. You... I can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine. No, 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 no! What the? Who's this kid? Finally. 
I was so tired of being a flower. Howdy. Joe? Are you there? It's me. Your best friend. Azrael Dreamer? You're supposed to be dead, dude! Think I know what I gotta do. Oh shit! You know, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. Ezra calls on Chaos Saber? How does it- Does this guy have Chaos Emeralds too? Let's try Hope. You hold on to your hopes. You reduced how much damage you'll take this turn. After I defeat you again, total control over the timeline. I just want to reset everything. Let's try dreaming! You think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. All your progress, everyone's memories. I'll bring them all back to zero. Let's hope! Damage reduced. Then we can do everything all over again. Damn. Just gotta keep hope. And you know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it. Damn right I will. lose to me again. Wait, what's this? Last dream? Where'd I get these? Through determination, the dream became true. You recovered 17 HP? And again. As real ready is shocking barrier too. Gotta keep holding on to hope. And again. Dream again. Your items fill up with dreams. Because you want a happy ending. And I'm gonna get the happy ending, bitch! No! What? But it refused!
Asriel Dreamer, the absolute god of hyper-death. <sighs> collection of every soul in the underground. And that's what you call yourself? Just gotta keep hoping. Try sparing. Damn it! Come on. Some god of hyper death. The dream came true. Your HP was maxed out. Not gonna win, buddy. you love your friends. You feel the empty space in your inventory gets smaller and smaller. Because you never give up. That's just how I roll. Come on! Not gonna give up! Keep holding on, damage reduced. Maxed out. Isn't that delicious? Your determination, the power that I let you get this far, it's gonna be your downfall. You mean it's gonna be your downfall? Now, enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. that attack, you're still standing in my way. Now, wow, you really are something special. But don't get caught. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this. Move your body. Behold my true power. Damn it! Come on!
got full health now. I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. No, it gets stronger. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here, in a world where no one remembers you. The whole world is ending. You can't move your body. Still, you're hanging on. That's fine. A few mo in a few moments, you'll forget everything, too. That a attitude will serve you well in your next life. Damn it, come on! Can't move your body. Still? Come on! Show me what good your determination is now. Can't move your body. Nothing happened. You struggle, nothing happened. You tried to reach your save file, nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file, nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But, maybe, with what little power you have, you can save something else. <laughs> out to save Azrael's soul and called out to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? Within the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. The lost souls appear. Let's see. Let's hug. You hug the lost soul and tell her that you're going to see her again. Something about this is so familiar to her. This is for your own good. Forgive me for this. Let's... Mercy. Tell the lost soul that you won't hurt them. Hurt them. No matter what. Something about this is so familiar to him. No one will leave again. This is my duty. Oops. Let's... Use mercy on you. Your reference to... Refuse to fight the lost soul. Something about this is so familiar to her. Let's try talking. You tell the lost soul that you're going to save everyone. Something stirs within it. It's all flooding back. Your fate is up to you now. You are our future. Feel something resonate with an Azrael. Let's save these two now. Or just her. A soul. Let's fake it. Something about the way we fight is familiar to her. All humans will die. Let's use recipe. You ask the soul to teach you how to cook. She doesn't know why, but, teach, but she kind of wants to teach you how. You are a real enemy. Let's clash. You clashed against the lost soul with all your might. She recognized your fighting spirit. Suddenly, memories are flooding back. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. Let's save Alphys now! Oh, she's in her dress! Let's nerd out! Let's lost soul what her favorite cartoon is. She can barely hold back from giving you an enormous answer! You hate me, don't you? Let's encourage. You tell the lost soul that you'll encounter your continuous supporter. Something about the way you said that is familiar to her. A 
gotta keep mine. No, you don't! Let's call. Call the lost soul on the phone. She starts to sweat. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. No, that's not true. My friends like me. And I like you, too. Let's save Sans. Oh, we got to see them both at once! Let's make a joke. We told the lost soul a bad pun about skeletons. He seems to hate it, but the other soul seems to like it. I must capture a human! Just give that energy. Let's take a break! You asked the lost soul to take a break from fighting with you. It seems like it wants to. Then everyone will. Why even try? Let's try a recipe. You asked the lost soul to cook you something for you. The lost soul is trying to hide its joy. You'll never see him again. told Lost Soul a bad pun about skeleton. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. No way! You're my friend! No, uh, I'm looking for you, kid. Let's save someone else! Strangely, as your friends remember you, something else began to resonate within the soul. Stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? I knew it! Your friend's souls resonating within Azrael. Let's save Azrael himself. What, what did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, no, I don't need anyone. Stop it! Get away from me! Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart. He's getting weaker! Joe, do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? I'm doing this because you're special, Joe. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. No. That's not just it. I... I'm doing this because I care about you, Joe. I care about you more than anyone else, anybody else. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. So please, stop doing this. And just let me win. Stop it. Stop it now! Jeez! Joe. I'm so alone, Joe. 
I'm so afraid, Joe. Joe, I... I... I'm so sorry. I always was a crybaby, wasn't I, Joe? I know. You're not actually Joe, are you? Joe's been gone for a long time. Um... What... What is your name? Frisk? That's... A nice name. Frisk. I haven't felt like this in a lo for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care about each other so much. And they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, Alphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. <laughs> Frisk, I... I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I act so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt you so many... I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. But there's no excuse for what I've done. What? What? Frisk, come on. You're... You're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first... There's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power, with everyone's determination, it's time for monsters to finally go free. Whoa! The barrier was destroyed. Holy shit, he did it! Frisk, I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being... myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me. Just go be with the people who love you. Aww. <laughs> I don't want to let go. Frisk, you're... You're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? Well... My time's running out. Goodbye. By the way, Frisk, take care of Mom and Dad for me, okay? Oh, come on. There's got to be something I can do for this poor kid. Frisk. 
This is all just a bad dream. Please, wake up. Oh, you are awake. Thank goodness. We were so worried. It felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer and I would have freaked out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you made Papyrus cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I just caught something in my eye. What did you catch? Tears! No, no. The important part is that Frisk is alright. Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. Uh, how about we give them space first? They must be very exhausted. Though, from what, I am not certain. Frisk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk. You can say goodbye to all your wonderful friends. Do as you wish. We will all wait for you here. Let's go back a little, see what else there is. Anything is down here. I didn't notice before, but there's something like mummy wrappings at the bottom of it. So now we know our real name Frisk. Let's see what's back here a bit. There's gotta be something back here. Correct. Hey! Yo! What's up? I've been kinda doing some thinking. Maybe Undyne isn't actually as cool as we thought. She's just kinda mean. But yo, I just found out about some way cooler. Don't remember him being there before. At least we got to talk to Monster Kid one more time. back here now. back we can actually go. I just thought of something. Dear Frisk, Sans and Alphys are teaching me how to text. I am learning so much. For example, do you know what a smiley is? 
please look at this. <laughs> now turn your head to the left. It's a picture of me smiling at you. Can you see it? LOL, that stands for lots of laughter. Sincerely, Toriel. That's all for now. Maybe in the next room, we will receive another. Oh! Dear Frisk, how are you? You have been wandering around for quite some time now. I hope you're not getting into trouble. Only kidding. LOL. Sincerely, Toriel. Yes, do not get into trouble. Oh well. Let's try... My phone might be out of batteries. Excuse me, I did not mean to write sincerely. I... I meant to write... meant to say sincerely. Typo? It's difficult to use with large hands. Perhaps I should ask Sans to sa transcribe for me. a video she saw of a small white animal. There is no link or attachment to watch it. A cat? Makes me think of... Oh, what's her name? Oh, yeah. I knew we'd find him here. Don't worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. Frisk, please leave me alone. I can't come back. I just can't, okay? I don't want to break their hearts all over again. It's better if they just never see me. Why are you still here? Are you trying to keep me company? Frisk. Hey, let me ask you a question, Frisk. Why did you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climb Mount Ibet are said to disappear. Frisk. Why would you ever climb a mountain like that? Was it a foolish... was it foolishness? Was it fate? Or was it because you... well... Only you know the answer, don't you? I know why Joe climbed the mountain. It wasn't for a very happy reason. Frisk, I'll be honest with you. Joe hated humanity. Why... why they did? They never talked about it. But 
they felt very strongly about it. Frisk, you really are different from Joe. In fact, though you have similar, uh, fashion choices, I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe the truth is, Joe wasn't really the greatest person. While Frisk, you're the type of friend I wish I always had. So maybe I was kind of projecting a little bit. Let's be honest, I did some weird stuff as a flower. There's one last thing I feel like I should tell you. Frisk, when Joe and I combined our souls together, the control over our body was actually split between us. They were the one that picked up their own empty body. And then, when we got to the village, they were the one that wanted to to use our full power. I was the one that resisted. And then, because of me, we... Well, that's why I ended up as a flower. Frisk. This whole time, I've blamed myself for that decision. That's why I adopted that horrible view of the world. Kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you, Frisk, I don't regret that decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, we would have had to wage war against all of humanity. And and in the end, everyone was free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took. So maybe it wasn't a perfect decision, but you can't regret hard choices your whole life, right? Well, not that I have much of a life left, but that's besides the point. Frisk, thank you for listening to me. You should really go be with your friends now, okay? Oh, and please, in the future, if you, uh, see me, don't think of it as me, okay? I just want you to remember me like this. Someone that was your friend for a little while. Oh, and Frisk, be careful in the outside world, okay? Despite what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as it is here. There are a lot of flowies out there. And not, every, and not everything can be resolved by just being nice. Frisk, don't kill, and don't be killed. Alright? That's the best you can strive for. Well, see you. Frisk, don't you have anything better to do? Frisk, there's gotta be more we can do. someone you care about, or a skeleton will rattle his bones at you. Let's try again. Uh, I'm gonna check something real quick. There's gotta be something I can do for him. no way we can help him. Jump cut.
is trying to take your soul. I feel very bad about it. I hope we can still be pals. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think everyone's tried to kill Frisk at least once. Oh, I see. In that case, I'm not sorry, Frisk. Asgore! That's not what I meant. Frisk, um, you've got to tell me. D do you think Asgore and Toriel are, uh, ever gonna get back together? Yep. Yeah. That's what I hope, too. Just think about how cute they must have been together. It's quickly becoming my number one ship of all time. Tori and Gory. <laughs> my, my old boss and his ex-wife. Uh, that sounds a lot less cool all of a sudden. So, Asgore, how about making me a number a member of the Royal Guard? Well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? Then what was the point of the human's quest? They journeyed all the way, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard. Truly, this is the worst possible ending. Hey, Frisk, what's with that weird expression? Sans, did I tell you about the time Frisk flirted with- oh jeez. Wow, Frisk. This really puts our relationship in a new light. Hey, Tor, do you have any other embarrassing stories? Oh, do I ever. But first, I think that the story... That that story is one of the most unbelievable. It is hard to think anyone would want to flirt with me. <laughs> uh, Toriel, you have no idea. <laughs> Hello, Frisk. Elf has upgraded my phone. A lot of fun with the texting feature. Sense, check out this one. Oh man, Tori. That's brutal. I can't believe the queen has returned. And also, she's a huge dork. You two are... You two are two feet away from each other. Why are you texting? Worry not, Papyrus. We are texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, of course we're huge dorks. Those were huge dorks. Sorry. Sans, please do not say that. You are not a dork. You are more of a bonehead. ba Ha ha ha! Wow! Those puns are even less funny coming from her. Then why are you smiling? It's a pity smile. Well, I guess this is it, folks. will follow you out of the underground. I'm ready. Oh my. Isn't it beautiful? Wow, it's even better than on a TV. Way better. Better than I ever imagined. Frisk, you live with this. The sunlight is so nice, and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Sans, what's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowie, I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun. I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone. This is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk, I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Frisk will be the ambassador, best ambassador, and I, the great Papyrus, will be the best mascot. I'll go make a good first impression. Uh, somebody stop him! <laughs> Welp, 
someone's gotta keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. Uh, Sans, Papyrus went the other way. Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! <laughs> hey, Undyne, wait up! Whoops. Uh, should I do something? Well, gotta go. It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Frisk, you came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? I think I'm gonna stay. What? Frisk, you really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, I suppose if you really do not have any other place to go, I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. Alright, now, come along. Everyone is waiting for us.
<laughs> Did you really think it was over? I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. Uh-oh! Well, there you have it. Undertale. Thank you all for watching. I had a great time playing this game. It has its fun moments, it has its tough moments, and it really knows how to tug at the heartstrings. I have played long enough for today. But I am certainly satisfied with how much I've played. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Until then, keep gaming everyone. See you later.